there's a depth of storytelling to Shakespeare, and you've experienced it, and you illuminate it when you play a Lear, that isn't there when you do a television series, pardon me for a television series, that mostly isn't there that when you do a film. Because the writer has given a canvas, a much bigger canvas. The Insider may be one of those films that actually is a little different because yeah. that was a bigger canvas. Yeah. But given the mass of product. And again, this is kind of a pitch question. What do we do as artists? Maybe not give advice, but what do we do as artists to push that back on the agenda? Because we both feel it's important. The canvas is that big as King Lear are important. Canvases of television. Yes, well, we're, we're all, we, we all keep trying to do it. I mean, it doesn't stop. I mean, Ian McKellen has obviously done a very interesting Lear just the other day, opened and got some marvelous notices. Uh, and Brian is doing it up at Stratford, Brian Bedford. Uh, people, we, we all keep trying to do it. I'm going to do it, well, not next year, but I'll do, I'll do some more. I'll do a Tempest soon or something. But we're all keeping at it. And it will never go away because even when it's badly done, uh, that extraordinary genius Shakespeare comes through with flying colors. Even when when it's done not very well, his his stuff is so strong, and his poetry is so con modern. It's so wonderfully now, as opposed to all the other Elizabethans who were so much more fanciful and. Marlowe and oh my God and Johnson, Whew, the heaviness of those, some some beauty, but then very very grand in size. Shakespeare always managed to remain simple. That's why I'm convinced that he wrote most of those plays. Uh, I, they all all the great ones have that simplicity in them, and it doesn't seem to be a simplicity that the Earl of Oxford suddenly achieved. Um, mm -hmm. It belongs to a, a man who understands the people very well, who understands the human condition very well. Um, so I'm convinced he wrote most of them. He may not have written all of them. I like to think that he wrote really the great ones, and all the lousier ones were written by <laughs> Oxford and Southampton and whoever the hell else is, and Dryden from 